I'm Kate, I'm playing Becky and various roles in Sherlock Holmes, and I was just seen in The Women as Jane. My name is Elise, I play Inspector Lestrade and other roles in Sherlock, and previous Harlequin roles include Miri Marins in The Women and uh, Miss Thorne and Miss Block in Ruthless. I'm Xander, I play young Sherlock in Sherlock Holmes. Uh, previous roles include Ira in Laughter on the 23rd Floor and the dog in The Art of Racing in the Rain. <laughs> Most of my characters are um, parallel to characters in A Christmas Carol, and so I definitely had to brush up on my knowledge of A Christmas Carol. Um, specifically, Becky um, parallels Belle, and so it was really interesting to um, kind of compare those two scenes. I rewatched Muppet Christmas Carol. Wow. <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. It's very good. It holds up. <laughs> Michael Caine. Well, I also read some of the stories, but that was unrelated to this. Uh, a lot of my research, I've performed Christmas Carol about over 300 times. So I have got the story of Christmas Carol down pat. So a lot of my research went into the Sherlock Holmes universe. Um, and another fun thing about the show is we all play multiple characters. So a fun thing for me is to study different uh, English dialects. So one way I like to differentiate my characters is to have them do different sort of accents from the UK. So uh, I have a northern accent character who sort of sounds like the Starks in Game of Thrones. Uh, and then I have a little Cockney character who sort of sounds like Oliver Twist. So a lot of my research went into kind of uh, figuring out voices. I think it's really fun finding the parallels of who is my character in this world of Sherlock and then what is the parallel in the world of Christmas Carol. And sometimes it's a combination of one or two characters. You know, we really have this character of Watson who becomes the Bob Cratchit, but also sort of the nephew Fred character from Christmas Carol. Um, and then moments where we get to take the audience's expectation of hmm. knowing the story of Christmas Carol and sort of subverting it in yeah. these lovely moments, I think, of surprise. I think that's one of, the, one of the more fun aspects of doing a show in which the audience is fairly familiar with the plot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. They, they're really similar. The scenes are, are quite similar mm. um, where she is just wanting something from him and he doesn't necessarily give her that um and so uh it's been it's been interesting and and, and yeah. also trying to forget that as well like i'm not Belle. i'm i'm becky and and who is becky there's a lot less of a jaded quality in young sherlock i mean it's there the the, the ice the icy glaciers are there you know and ready to emerge at any moment but uh, he's got a little more of an open-hearted quality to him, or at least a, a willingness to experience, you know, the joys of life before he starts to, you know, close off to everyone, so. It's a fun moment in the show. It's a beautiful scene between the two of them of getting to see Scrooge slash Sherlock, these two very unromantic characters hmm. in sort of the most romantic moments of their lives. It's really actually just a lovely part of the Christmas past sequence. Hmm. One of the most fun things is the audience will expect something and then we put our little Sherlock twist in there and yeah, it's cool. I have nothing intelligent to say. <laughs> Another fun thing is that, it, I mean, it's Sherlock Holmes. It is a mystery. Yeah. So right. we get to add not only the ghost story of Christmas Carol, but there are also a couple mysteries that weave throughout um, this version of the story, I think, which adds just another fun element to um, watching him observe the world around him while remaining the detective Sherlock Holmes. <laughs>